We are very, very interested in making sure that you know who is open for business. And Frasca and Company Eatery is, and Sarah Frasca is with us right now. Hi, Sarah. Hello, Eden. Thanks so much for chatting with me today. We're so glad to. Well, before we get into the really cute thing you're doing that is actually not just delicious, but fun for families, <laughs> let's tell everybody about the menu at Trasca and what is available right now, which we know would be for curbside and for takeout. We actually have our menu, our full menu available, but we are doing some different types of meals so that families have stock up options that they can put into their freezers. We also have par-baked pizzas, so people can take the pizzas that we make, put them into their ovens and finish them off, um, and all sorts of other kind of stock up items. So it's, it's been kind of a whirlwind, of course. We're doing, as most have, the to-go curbside delivery. Um, we have our delivery partners that are taking food all over, and then we do neighborhood delivery events, so people can order online, they can pay for it online, and then we just basically bring it to a location and people can pick it up. Our menu is based on a lot of my family's recipes. So my grandmother invented our panino sandwich, which is our specialty and what we're known for. Um, it's basically baked flat like a pizza and then rolled up, cut in half. So you eat it like a sandwich, even though it's more of a roll up with everything inside. So that's kind of what we're known for, what we're famous for. My family's been serving them for over 45 years, believe it or not. Um, we also have pizza and we make all of our dough every day from scratch. So it kind of harkens back to the artisan pizza making days, which is really fun. We make our own sauces, high quality ingredients, etc. But we do have salads. We have all of our own um, soups that we make. We have kind of a, you know, a, a broad collection for kids, uh, mac and cheese to chicken nuggets that we make from scratch using a, um, you know, a, a very fresh chicken source. That it's tremendous. I mean, it, you can taste the difference of the things that we make. And um, we have desserts and all sorts of things. We also ser serve bowl bean coffee. So uh, we do breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day of the week. Right now, again, it's a little bit modified. We'll, we'll have like big grab-and-go meals that might be something like a chicken Alfredo that's not normally on our menu, but it's really a great comfort food. It's a great stock up item for people to put in their freezers and have, you know, if they need a meal during the week. I have five children at home. My business partner, Karina, has three. So, I mean, we know what this is like right now for families and um, families all over the world um, are looking for activities for their kids. So we decided to make a pizza kit where all of the ingredients come in a box, comes in a kit, and then the families can put it together. So we have instructions for the kids. They get to measure out all the ingredients. They get to flatten the dough and kind of um, work with the dough to make their own pizza. Where do people go to get more information and to see your menu online? The best place for people to go is our Facebook page because we post our menu that's changing of those grab-and-go meals, of all of the specials, um, even the neighborhood locations of where we're delivering. So if we're going to Julington Creek, if we're going up to Jack's Beach, we'll post that so people can order and then they'll know what time we're coming so that they can you know, come and meet us there and pick up their meals uh, for their families. So smart, really yeah. smart. Thank you so much for joining us, Sarah. It is an absolute pleasure. Please tell your family I said hi. Thank you to everyone out there for their support. I think at this time, it is of the utmost important that we kind of link arms. And um, we've always been grateful for the community, but I would say it's, it's especially, you know, a moment of gratitude when you're a small business owner like myself and Karina, and we just look out and see the enormous support um, from the people that, you know, have enjoyed our food and even some who have never heard of us. So that's kind of fun too, but um, keep supporting local and just thank you. Thank you.